Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sunday. Hopefully get it all done. Hopefully it's gonna be packed with lots of motivation. For me it is afternoon, it is after two o'clock. We've already had a busy day. We went to church, we had lunch. Marion and I went out to a few stores, picked up a few groceries. So I'm gonna give you like a little mini grocery haul, just like things that we needed to fill in for the week. I've already done my big shopping last weekend and then I will again next weekend. But you know, a few things to fill in for like Jackson's lunches and breakfast and things like that. So I'll give you a little mini grocery haul in this video. I'm also gonna be doing some cleaning. I'm gonna be working on a DIY for my living room. So that's exciting. I'm excited to get that finished and up and i don't know what else we're gonna get into we'll see i thought about we thought about going on a bike ride today because jackson had asked if we could do that but he says now he doesn't know so i don't know maybe we also talked about marion and jackson going out and mowing the grass i don't know it's a pretty day it's like 68 or something i need to get this vlog started i need to get this day started this afternoon i kind of have a lot to do and i'm already kind of tired so i don't want to like be doing this working until 10 o'clock tonight you know so Anyway, let me show you the things that I got. So, Marion, I think he's antsy to get his ice cream. <laughs> if you saw my last video, I found, finally found the Little Debbie ice cream at Walmart. And they have the little, they're $2.50 at our Walmart. And they only have three or four flavors, but he was excited to find the Cosmic Brownie. And then I got the Oatmeal Cream Pie. I also got the Nutty Buddy. That one's in the, fri the freezer. We're going to try them. I tasted the Nutty Buddy last night. It was really good. So, I'm interested to see how that one is. But after I get this done, he can have his ice cream. So we got some more coffee because we were running out of that. Got some ice drinks. Jackson basically is going to drink these. I drink them, but not very often. I mostly just drink water, but he really enjoys them. And I tell him only one a day, so this will last him for this week. Uh, we got some oatmeal and some Pringles for lunches. I got a can of no sugar added peaches. I really wanted fresh peaches for a couple of recipes I'm going to try. <laughs> But I cannot find fresh peaches anywhere, so I know like June is when they're like harvested, so I should be able to find fresh peaches soon, but I got canned. I got some, these are the dog treats we've been buying lately. They're just, not, they're like a good size and they're vibrant life. That We couldn't find the ones we always buy the Alpo, but they did have them today, but we went ahead and got this again. They, they seem to like those. I got Marion's snacks, his fig bars and Twizzlers. Jackson really loves these. I keep having to stop and start this <laughs> video. Um, Jackson loves these watermelon outshine bars. I love the lime, they're my favorite, but those are a treat for him. I got some Honey Nut Cheerios for him. I really wanted the toasty Cheez-Its, but they didn't have, they only had a big giant box and it was five bucks, so I just bought this one. The Sharp Cheddar and Parmesan, I've not had that before, but I love Cheez-Its for a snack. Got some grapes and some bananas, and then we went to Sam's, and I bought, if you, if you watch the video where I bought this pink dress from Ross, I think I'm going to take it back. I think I've decided, um, and I had seen, I think it was Carla McKenzie showed this dress. She, she showed a dress that she found at Sam's, and I'm not sure if it was this one, but I just think it's so pretty. I'm going to try to show you. It's really long, and just very flowy and summery, and it was only $19.96, and I thought I would try it, try it on. You know, you can't try try on clothes at Sam's but I'll try it and see if it works hopefully it will that's a beautiful spring dress and then I also got a big thing of toilet paper all right this is like super melty but I thought I'd taste test the oatmeal cream pie so you should know uh -huh. oh that's good and that looks really like some good. brownie in there he's got the cosmic brownie so I just had like a piece of oatmeal cookie And then this tastes like the cream. I don't love oatmeal cream pies, but this is really good. Oh, it's really melty. You like that one? Mm -hmm. Bluebell's still and, the best. And it does have the brownie bits in it. Does like, it have the um, like rainbow chips too? Yep, I just ate one of those. It was pink. Nice. I would say that's really good.
You go by side. It is such a pretty day. Such a pretty day. It's um a little breezy and a little cool, but the birds are chirping, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful Sunday. We need to cut the grass, Lord have mercy. It's literally in the last week just like shot up. It is definitely time to cut it. And we're gonna try and have Jackson be the one that cuts it this year. We taught him last Marion taught him last year and he did really good, so that's gonna be his job. I see that the wind blew in a box, an Amazon box <laughs> on the side of my yard. I need to go get that, but it's so beautiful out here. Like I wish that I had just stuff to do outside today, although it's a little chilly. But definitely soon I'm gonna get out here and do all this, clean all this up. I cannot wait, probably whenever we cut, because we'll have to mulch up the leaves and everything. I wanted to say this light, I showed this light in a video recently, and it's like a solar powered light. And I, um, it's kind of like complicated. I hope that, I don't know, it's complicated. I'm not really sure how to get it to turn off the, what's it called, the solar. Like you turn it on and it, it shuts, it goes to like a dim light. Like a few seconds after you turn it on, it's kind of frustrating me. Anyway, if any of you got it, the way it came with no instructions. So you had to go on Amazon and read the instructions, which are very detailed and very good instructions. Like it, it's very detailed. But I can't quite figure it out, so I don't know if any of you bought it and you're having that issue. I can't figure it out. It's kind of annoying me. Marion said, send me the link and I'm going to go through and he's going to try. So if you're having issues with it, if we figure it out, I'll let you know. Because I feel bad that, you know, I mean, I was just putting it in and I, I like it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. It's just the whole... Um, and I don't know, maybe any of you that have like a solar powered light, maybe you know about it. Maybe there's a certain thing you need to know. It's just annoying me right now trying to figure it out. But anyway, I wanted to say that. I feel like there was a couple things I wanted to address. Oh, I know. Oh, so dark. Another thing I wanted to tell you, a lot of you have been asking me lately about like the hair bows or the what I'm wearing in my hair. Like when I pull it up and I put those scrunchies in. It's actually these scrunchies and they have like a bow. It's a bow scrunchie. So you just, you know, wrap it around your hair and then you have this little bow. And I actually saw these from Marie Love Asbury's channel. She wears them all the time and she has like big long hair and it's she's such a beautiful girl. And it's just so pretty when she wears them and I was like, oh, I wish I could wear something like that. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I, I, I have hair, right? I can try it. So it doesn't look as good as it does on her because she has like, you know, big hair and she puts it up in a bun and puts the bow on. It's just so adorable. But anyway, she linked them down below. So I will, so I bought them on Amazon. They were like six something for like five of them. Lots, you get like orange or yellow, a couple different pinks, a navy and a black. And I'll link them down in this video in case you're interested. I just think they're so cute, super inexpensive. They're like a silky material. So I know that's something that I, woo, bright light, that I keep getting questions about and I've got to address it. So. There you go, hopefully if you had a question, you're watching this video. I'm gonna go in here and I took a load of laundry out. I always dry them, as, I mean fold them as soon as they're done drying, but this is just a load of towels so I didn't worry about them getting wrinkled. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in here. And like I said, it's after two o'clock and I just got my first load of laundry going, but hopefully I can get two or three loads in before it gets too late.
So I'm going to go ahead and like do my floors just vacuum. If you haven't seen my love seat, we did get the love seat. So we have the two, the couch and love seat. And we still have my recliner up here just because we haven't taken it downstairs. So that is not going to stay there. And then the shoe bench is most likely going to go back here for a while. But I'll switch the um, love seat over, you know, every now and then. So it's just the way it is for now. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wipe the windows, vacuum the floors, I'm also gonna do the bedrooms. I need to actually make my bed. I never made my bed, vacuum my room. Jackson's gonna clean up his so I can come vacuum that. And then I'm gonna wipe down the bathroom. Those are like on my to-do list today before it gets too late, before it's dinner time, you know. It is three, it's like 302. I'm gonna make meatloaf for dinner and then I'm gonna try a new recipe. It's called cowboy pasta and it's a Pinterest recipe. I don't know if it's any good. I was gonna make it on a night when Patrick was here because he'll eat anything and he'll love it. So, I don't know, might save some for him. He's not coming over probably until like Thursday. Um, but I've shared my meatloaf recipe, you know, so many times. That's just an easy meal when I'm busy. And then after I get my cleaning done though, I wanna work on my sign because I am making a sign to go up here above my TV cabinet I talked about it in another video that I wanted I was trying to figure it out and I figured out what I want to do and so I'm gonna show you some footage in a little while of Marion and I building the sign and then I have to use my Cricut and like print off the words and I have to design that still but it's hopefully it's gonna look really pretty he did an amazing job building me a sign with the frame it's beautiful so I'll show you that in a little while right now I'm gonna do some cleaning and then I'll do the fun stuff which is making the sign <laughs> to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I Y'all gonna get up and let me make my bed? Huh? You're just hiding out from the vacuum, aren't you? Yeah, I know. I'm done for now. I'm done. They're gonna have to get up so I can 
make the bed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I got the bed made, and Clyde didn't seem to be bothered. Um, I'm gonna vacuum and dust the bedroom, and then, I don't, I'm kind of irritated with my vacuum. It's a Bagot is the brand, but I always link it in my description box, and I did a video on it about a year and a half ago when I redid my craft room, and I've loved it. I love it because it's cordless, but it's starting to not work so great, so I don't know. It works fine, but then like sometimes it just misses stuff that it shouldn't miss. So it's irritating to clean and then go back and be like, why is there still stuff on the floor? But what I really want is one of those vacuums that like mops and vacuums at the same time. I've been looking at those. They're a couple hundred dollars, but to me that would be like totally worth it because I could do it all in one sweep and how great would that be to have them vacuumed and sweat and mopped and not have to go back. Um, I wouldn't use that like every day, but when I need to mop and vacuum, so yeah, I'm looking at one of those, but I've also got some clothes I need to put those up and vacuum. They're not gonna like that. I gotta pull out the vacuum again and dust, and then I'm gonna go in there and do some in Jackson's room. He's supposed to be cleaning it up so I can at least vacuum the floor. I got a bunch of cats in here. One, two, three. <laughs> She's under the covers. So I'm just gonna sweep in here instead of vacuum. It'll get them upset, so.
All right, so now I'm just going to be working on the sign, and I just went down to Marion's wood pile and found some wood that was pretty much the size I wanted. I had him trim it up a little bit, and he sanded it really good. This is actually just a piece of plywood. He sanded one side so it would be kind of smooth, and I just painted it with some regular white paint, and I kind of left a few little areas where it wasn't totally painted to make it look kind of weathered, you know and super simple let that dry and then he took the wood if you saw my living room makeover video the we put took these wood strips off the wall and he saved them and he sanded them down really good i told him like i could just buy a sign he didn't have to do all that but he really wanted to do it he got a new sander and wanted to use it and i said okay if you want to use it it would save me about 20 bucks having to buy a sign so i sanded these down i mean stained these with the same stain that i uh, stained the window frames in the living room so that it would match and uh, then he just like nailed them to the back of the sign or to the side I'll show you in a little while he used some extra wood pieces just to secure them to make sure that the sign was really sturdy and it was actually pretty heavy after he was finished but I was gonna go ahead and stain these and then um, when I was finished it looked like it, on camera it looked like one of the strips is really light and one is dark but it I don't know why it looked like that it's not that way in real life but anyway I loved the way it turned out and it's so fun that he could make me one of these signs I see them all the time and I always am trying to think of what can I make with this you know I love using my Cricut and I love signs and words and yeah so anyways after I got all this done let it dry I just pulled out my Cricut and I picked the font that I wanted and measured and um, printed them off you know if you have a cricket you know what I'm talking about <laughs> you just um, I, I, I can't remember the name of this font I'll try to put it down the screen but it was I had seen something on Pinterest very similar and I thought that's what I want to do above my entertainment center and I wanted something big and long and anyway this turned out so pretty so I'll show you in a little while exactly what it looks like after I finish doing some more cooking and some more cleaning and you know all the things here's the sign it looks so good and then it's funny I always make the letters too big so I kind of tried to make them a little smaller this time and now they might be a little too small I don't know it's cute I'm gonna put them on I haven't stuck them on yet but I gotta work on dinner so Elaine has been here for like a couple hours and I've been visiting with her trying to finish that and trying to start dinner so I make I made a meatloaf and I put that in the, oh you know what I forgot to put my sauce on top put that in the oven I've already shared that lots of times how I make my meatloaf but I'm making this, it's called cowboy pasta to go with our meatloaf. And I'm doing it a little different. I'll link it down below. It's just something I found on, on um, Pinterest and it just looks really good. And here's like a picture of all the things. It actually calls for bacon, but I don't know if I'm gonna do bacon because I don't really like real bacon, like turkey bacon. Maybe I'll do a few pieces of that, but um, there's a few things I'm gonna tweak. I'm not gonna use red pepper flakes, so it's just, you use bacon, ground beef, corn, tomatoes, green onions, cheese, and pasta. And they use like the little shells, the mini shells, but we, I couldn't find them. So I got the little mini, pin, mini penne. And uh, I think the only thing I'm omitting is the red pepper flakes. But then you make like a sauce with, I know you use barbecue sauce, mayonnaise. Um, yeah. I'll link it down below but I'll let you know what we think it does use hot chili sauce I don't have hot chili sauce either I don't like spicy so and you use spicy brown mustard which I will use that because it won't be much of it um, two tablespoons so yeah like I said I'll link it down below but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm browning the beef right now I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple probably pieces of turkey bacon on to cook 
and I've got my water boiling for the pasta and I'll mix it together and I'll let you know what we think because it sounds really good to me. It's probably something that some of you have had before. I've heard of it before, but I've never made it. So see if we like it. Okay, so this recipe calls for a pound of bacon. I'm not using a pound of bacon. I'm gonna use a couple strips. And then a pound of pasta. How much is this? Yeah, I'm not gonna make that whole thing either. Three fourths of a pound of ground beef. That's about a half a pound that I used. And then I'll just kind of like cut everything in half maybe. One and a half cups of cheese, two cups of tomato. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that much. It's definitely gonna be cut in half, but hopefully it'll be the same thing, just in a smaller amount. dryer both going it's kind of hard to hear but I thought I'd give it a taste test it says you're supposed to kind of eat it at room temperature like when the pasta's cooled down the meat's cooled down but not necessarily refrigerator cold so I ended up adding more sauce to it like I kind of doubled what I put in there at first because it seemed a little dry it also made a ton like a ton so I don't know how we're gonna eat all this that's really good like the flavor it's like not something I've tasted before. That'd be a really good dish for like a cookout. You know, you need a pasta salad. And you could even like leave out the meat. It doesn't even need the meat, I don't think. But the barbecue sauce and the um, spicy mustard and the man it all just like gives it a really good flavor. And those green onions too, like that, that made it really good. That's really good. I feel like you could even put more fresh summer vegetables in it and it would be even better. Okay, now it's time to clean up the kitchen. I know I put a lot of cleaning motivation in this video, and I just wanted to say, I know some of you guys don't really watch for the cleaning motivation, and I gotta be honest, a lot of times when I'm watching a video, I'll kind of fast forward through some of the cleaning motivation if it's not really what I'm needing at the time, but there's definitely times when I need it, and I watch it, and it motivates me. I'll watch a few videos, and then I'll get up and clean my own house, and so I like to add that into my videos. I feel like some of the videos have a whole lot more than others, but so much of my life as a wife and a mom and a homemaker is cleaning and just keep maintaining a clean home and I know that that's so important to so many of us moms and homemakers and so I just feel like it's good to add that in there because you never know when someone's going to need it and, and then when you all tell me that you really needed it or that it really helped you get up and get moving like that makes it all worth it so if cleaning isn't your thing or you just don't understand the whole cleaning motivation thing um, you know feel free to fast forward but I do like to add it in there for those that really need it and really enjoy it because I personally am one of those 
you know, who really needs it. So I know you've seen me clean my kitchen a thousand times, but it always is a mess, always needs to be cleaned. You know, it's a daily thing. And I know we all have the same issues and the same struggles. So I hope I'm relatable and I hope that it motivates you and inspires you whenever you need that motivation. the kitchen's clean for the night it always is such a great feeling I know some of you all say that you don't clean it at night you clean at other times whenever you get it done all that matters is that you cleaned it so <laughs> it is a great feeling though once it's all clean I know it won't stay that way but it is nice to have it done so now I'm just moving on to the bathroom just gonna wipe things down really quick nothing major and then I am gonna be finished except for laundry because laundry pretty much is never done but you know it's a blessing to have laundry to wash it's a blessing to have a washing machine a family that needs laundry all the things you know Dinner's done, cleaning's done. I'm gonna finish my picture now, my beautiful picture that I made. I'm just gonna um, put these on here and then I'm probably gonna have to have Marion put like some, like the little teeth hooks on the back so that it can hang, because it's actually pretty heavy. So I showed you how he made it, but then I didn't show you, I actually showed you what he made it with, but he went ahead and like, I'll show you the back of it. He put these like pieces of wood here to hold the frame onto it. So it kind of made it 
really heavy. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. It's heavier than the ones you would get like at Hobby Lobby. So I definitely need to make sure that it has enough like sturdy hooks on the back so we can hang it. But I, I think it's going to look really pretty up there. I also want to get like a potted plant or something maybe to go, up, you know, buy it. We'll see if it needs more when I get it up there. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life on So I need to put the hooks on it and we can hang it. I'm not gonna just set it up there. And I think that sign, my daughter-in-law made me this sign and I absolutely love it, but I think it's too much words together. So I might put that, which I originally thought of doing anyways. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I thought about setting it up on top of that shelf. I don't know. I might do that. I have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright and get in that car leave a little note and we'll drive real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your head I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Okay, so there's a sign which I love <laughs> And I took the Dorset family sign down and I put that up there. This was on my um, hutch. I just put it up there. I don't know if that'll stay there. It kind of hides the pictures, but I wanted some greenery, something kind of big with greenery. And then I started like moving other things around. So I put the sign up there, which I kind of like it. Kind of. Not sure. Not sure. But then I started playing around with some things over here and I thought that was really pretty. Either that or even just to take that greenery out. But this was, these were all in different places and I had to move them. So I really love the look of just the white pictures up there. That's cute too. I kind of like that, like smaller. Just because it's a small hutch and I don't know. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. Okay, so I put the little one in there, fixed that, love that. That leaves an empty space here though, so. <laughs> Gotta move these over and figure this space out now because it's a little bit empty and then I took the bigger greenery and swapped it out up here in that old pot I got that at Goodwill for like two bucks years ago and then I took out like the long ivy and just put that I need to I need to fix it a little bit but I kind of like 
I kind of like that because it's big. I wanted a big piece up there. Yeah, I kind of like that. I took the white, the white pitcher that was here. I know so many of you said you loved this with the white pitcher. And yeah, I'll have to get another one. I'm going to Home Goods tomorrow. Maybe I'll look for another one. But this is so cute. This actually came from another like cake stand that I had in my... Actually, I might still have it in the note. Uh, no, I don't still have it in there. It's like a galvanized one and I just put it on this pink one that I had and these I think I got these eggs from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago But it is super cute. That's probably my favorite part of my spring decor <laughs> or one of my favorites All right That's how it's gonna stay tonight. I actually really love those white pictures up there. I thought about putting them on that little shelf in the living room, but then I um, thought it looked way too much like a dining room or a kitchen but the hutch is the perfect place for them, and I really love my sign. I'll stand back and let you see it better. We needed something long and kind of big up there, and I love that saying. I love I love to stay home. We are all homebodies, actually. Me, Jackson, and Marion. So, and of course, of course they are. <laughs> Look at my sweet Ollie over there. So sweet. Anyway, I thought of something else I wanted to say you know like I get comments all the time and then I uh, start filming and I'm like oh I should should mention that and I totally forget but today I'm remembering all the things I wanted to say if you bought Patrick's book I have had we've had a few people saying that the pages like fell out of their books when they got them and also someone brought their book to Patrick at church today and the first 46 or 47 pages were literally printed upside down <laughs> and I think there was like two that were like that and we figured out that they're all the ones that have mistakes are the ones that are printed in South Carolina so you go when you do Amazon publishing you go they do it all you have nothing to do with the printing part of it and they're printed in different parts of the world and then shipped out wherever however that works so any of them that are done in South Carolina seem to have issues with them so if you happen to get a book that has pages coming out or it's upside down or it's not printed right just like any other purchase on Amazon, you can return it and you can get your money back. You can ask for, you know, another copy. You can do the Kindle version if you prefer, but I don't know what is up with Amazon publishing, Amazon printing. Somebody's not doing their job. So if that happens to you, you know, I apologize. It just has to do with the whoever's printing them in South Carolina. They're screwing it up. So hopefully, hopefully there's not like it wasn't a whole bunch of them, you know, but if it happens to you just send it back just let them know send it back they're gonna have to replace it for free for you you know they're gonna have to send you another copy because clearly that's not that's not okay but thank you again to those of you that have purchased it and I just wanted to say that and like on a video so that you could know Patrick told me today about the ones upside down and the lady actually said no I want you to sign in I'm gonna keep it I just want you wanted you to know so she didn't want to send it back but anyway I'm like on chapter I forget what chapter page 70 or something I'm halfway through the book so I am reading it in like 30 minute increments whenever I have time but I'm halfway through and it's so good so far he's actually really impressed me with <laughs> what he's written so far so much of the story is not in there just because you know 28 years of stuff you could never all the details of like the early days the early months weeks and months you know so much we remember but he doesn't remember it so but it's a very good outline of everything that happened so anyway I'm gonna say good night I am tired it's been a long Sunday but I feel good that the house is clean the laundry's going still that's never ending but um, I got a busy week this week so good to have the house in order and everything ready for the week so I think you're gonna see this on Saturday so I hope that gives you some you know motivation for the weekend I hope it's productive and you get everything done that you need to get done thank you so much again for watching you know I love you guys I'm praying for you I'll leave you with a scripture verse, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.